This is Andy. This is Adrian. We're making a video because we are doing a movie challenge. Movie challenge. <laughs> yes. Um, a movie challenge. So there's 52 different categories of movies. 52. More than states. One for each week of the year. <laughs> um, and we pick a different one each week and then we are going to talk about it on here. So why did you want to do a movie challenge? Well, I heard recently that there was a book challenge where you read 52 books a year. And you'd pick them out and, you know, one would be uh, read a book by a female author, read a book about the Old West, read a book about your hometown. And I thought that sounded really cool, but I didn't think I could read that many books a year. <laughs> I would like to be able to do it, but 52, quite a stretch. It's a lot. Now, movies, on the other hand, I thought, could we watch one movie a week? Probably. Yeah. Probably I could stay awake for it, at least. <laughs> I can. So, I told Adrian about it, and uh, surprisingly, she said, yeah, I think that would be cool. Let's do it. So, we took a whole bunch of squares of paper, ripped them up, and put them in a little Halloween bony, bony bunch, bunch container. So, we draw out... You're going to do number five, number ten, whatever. But this week we didn't draw it out. This week I just picked a number. This week uh, we didn't have the Bony Bunch made up yet, I fib. But it's going to be Bony Bunch from, <laughs> from here, here on, on out. out. Well, maybe we'll change it for like Christmas and stuff. Anyway, I picked number 19. I picked number 19 because we are getting married. March 19th, On the 19th of March, yes. Congratulations to us. <laughs> um, so we picked number 19 and that said... A movie with a color in it, in the title. A movie with a color in the title, right. Uh, we went through our DVDs, which we have far too many of. Oh, not enough. <laughs> far too many. And we didn't find any that we really liked. We went through, I don't know, I found Greenberg. Adrian didn't think that counted because it was the guy's no, name. No, it doesn't count. Uh, Green Zone. She wasn't interested. So uh, we went on to Netflix. Uh-huh. And Adrian... Typed in different typed colors. Typed in, you know, red, pink, blue, whatever. Um, and then we, we typed in orange. We did. So we've decided on A Clockwork Orange. The reason we chose A Clockwork Orange is because it's a classic movie. Right. That neither of us had ever seen before. Right, um, right. Neither of us had ever read the book either. And right. we're fans of sci-fi. Right. It's a dystopian. Did I say right? I said that a couple times. Right. Right. Um, so we chose A Clockwork Orange. Correct. Because it's a classic. So what I liked about the movie, um, I like that it was quirky. It was um, quirky. They had like a different kind of language that they used, which I liked. They had a, a little language I read online. In the book, they call it NADSAT. They didn't mention it in the movie. But what they do is um, it's a mixture of like Eastern European, Slavic, and Russian terms and Cockney rhyming slang. So uh, there was a lot of weird stuff, like their friends were the, called their droogs, mm -hmm. a, a girl was called a petitska, they had a bunch of different little things. Me Gulliver. Their head that was I called like a, that. a Gulliver, a lot of strange, interesting things that I thought was cool, kind of reminded yeah. me of uh, Lewis Carroll, the, the jab. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was different, it was interesting, um, that was one of the positive elements of the movie. I also liked, like, the different settings, the different, like, film shots and stuff, and, you know, like, the houses and stuff like that. It was cool. I mean, there were a couple of scenes that were interestingly, uh, interesting choices of how they filmed it, like, uh, camera panned and showed you what was going on in different rooms of the house. Um, I've seen that before. I'm not sure if this is one of the movies that originated that or not, but it was different. You don't see it a lot, so it was kind of quirky and had its own distinct style i like the different characters in it too um they were quirky like there was a jitakio i like the way he talked he said yes after everything he said i like that and there was this uh like warder kind of guy in the the prison that made him take out and inventory all his items and sir yes sir and march yeah, him around all military style I, he was a cool character too anything else you liked uh i liked um the the one, like, redeeming quality about the main character, which we'll get into the negative traits here shortly. Which he's was, one of them. He was a fan of uh, Beethoven. 
and he'd always say, uh, can't get enough of the Ludwig van. He called him Ludwig van instead of Beethoven. I thought that was quirky and different. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Cool. Okay. What I did not like about the movie. This movie was way too violent. Um, violent and... Disturbing. Yeah, definitely. I... Assault, rape, mm -hmm. and so on. I guess that was, like, part of the point of the movie, but I personally, like, can't watch things Quite, like that. Quite, uh... Like, too vivid. Yes. Especially, what I was surprised by, this movie was filmed in 1971, which was quite a few years before I was born, and, you know, I don't know, I've always been a fan of music, and, like, in the 80s and early 90s, like, heavy metal and death metal and stuff came out, and people were so, oh, this stuff is so egregious and offensive, but, you know, in 1971... Uh, a classic movie is showing graphic depictions of rape. I don't know. I can't say I've heard the criticism of that. You? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really didn't hear anything about this one. I can't say I have either, but, you know, <laughs> Stanley Kubrick is celebrated as one of the best, mm -hmm. you know, directors. So I thought it was uh, surprising that it was so graphic. The one thing, um, I mean, the main character... His name is Alex DeLarge, mm -hmm. and he starts off with all this violence and rape, and he's quite despicable, and the first 20 minutes of the movie I really didn't enjoy at all. And then they kind of flip it on his head when he gets caught, and he goes to jail, and they do this experimental program on him to make him good and make him fit into society. And it's almost like an exercise on seeing if you can turn around and empathize with him because you know, he has quite a miserable experience after that point, even though he's a character that you hate, yeah. you know, throughout the beginning part of the film. Mm -hmm. And then one of the things that they talked about was like behavioral psychology. That was one of the things I guess the film was trying to comment on. Right. Um, At least the, uh, the book was a commentary on um, behaviorism. And, you know, this was the film's take on the book. Sure. And um, so one of the things that it made me think of uh, was conversion therapy. And conversion therapy is when somebody who's, like, gay or, like, a homosexual wants to not be homosexual anymore. And they pair, like, disturbing stimuli or sickening stimuli mm -hmm. with... Um, in this case, with violence, right. um, to try to get that person to have, like, a negative reaction to it. Um, but I am morally opposed to conversion therapy. I don't think that it's right. Um, and it's my personal belief that people deserve to be rehabbed. Um, people, everyone should have a chance. And as many chances as they need to, um, we should try to help everybody. But then the question is, like, can Alex be helped? Can Alex be changed? And it was it was kind of difficult to follow because it seemed like, you know, they wanted to say, oh, well, now we're going to change him and see if you can empathize with him. And then at the end, they kind of went the other way again, and I wasn't really sure what point they were trying to make, mm -hmm. uh, if, if any, about, like, an individual being rehabbed or if it was some point about society and how yeah. corrupt it is, but... Well, I'm sure that it was probably about society and should, like, the government have a say in doing that to people, but Alex couldn't be rehabbed in this. I mean, he he kind of was, but... Wasn't by not. choice, though. Like, he just couldn't do the bad things that he wanted to do. He did choose to undergo the therapy, but the impulses that he had that dro dro drove him to do the negative stuff was, like, inherent in him. And he chose to do it because he thought he was getting out of jail. That's true. Um, so, anything else? Nothing that I can think of. Okay, so we're going to end this with um, how much we like, or yeah, we're going to rate the movie. Uh, one to five, not on how good the movie is, but on how much we liked it. Right. Three for me. I would probably agree with a, a three assessment. I mean, um, you know, technically it was done well but as far as enjoyability it starts out very low builds up over time but still very difficult to watch i don't know if i'd want to watch it again especially uh, the beginning like 20 minutes of it 
Okay, so now we are going to pick for next week out of my bony bunch. Number 30. Oh boy. Okay, what's number 30? Number 30 is about an historical Maybe figure. Maybe about a historical figure. Okay. Well, what do we pick? You'll have to tune in next time and find out. Thank you for watching.